thromboelastography, or TEG, is a method of assessing the efficiency of blood coagulation. It assesses the tensile strength of a blood clot, including the rate of formation, the maximum firmness and stability, and clot lysis and breakdown. The graphical image seen here measures the change in clot amplitude or firmness over time. To understand TEG, let's take a look at each of the components of the graph. The first is the clotting or reaction time, R time, which reflects fibrin generation and the onset of clot formation. Remember, fibrin is the end product of the coagulation cascade. The coagulation cascade is made up of three pathways. The intrinsic pathway, consisting of factors 12, 11, 9, and 8, which is heparin sensitive and measured by the PTT. The extrinsic pathway, consisting of factor 7, which is vitamin K dependent and measured by the PT. And the common pathway, consisting of factors 10, 5, 2, or thrombin, and 13. Thrombin is essential for fibrin production and clot formation. A prolongation of the R time would indicate a coagulation factor deficiency or the presence of an anticoagulant and is treated with FFP, whereas a short R time can indicate a hypercoagulable state. The K time is a measurement of the time it takes for a clot to reach 20 millimeters in amplitude, and the alpha angle is the tangent to the curve at the K time and represents the speed of clot buildup. The maximum amplitude represents the greatest firmness and stability of the clot. The alpha angle most closely represents the function of fibrinogen and the maximum amplitude the function of platelets. However, both are critical to clot formation. Therefore, a TEG with a shallower alpha angle would represent a fibrinogen deficiency and would benefit from the addition of cryoprecipitate. A TEG with a smaller maximum amplitude would represent a platelet issue and would benefit from a platelet transfusion or possibly DDAVP. The LY30 is the percentage of clot lysis at 30 minutes after reaching the maximum amplitude and represents the process of fibrinolysis. Therefore, an elevated LY30 suggests hyperfibrinolysis and may be treated with an antifibrinolytic such as tranexamic acid or TXA.